interrupt the fireplace channel to bring you an important message from channel <laughs> news. We have found out that Batman has fallen out of a window and may possibly be dead. No one is helping yet. We think diffusion of responsibility is the issue, but we're not sure. So we're gonna wait and see. We saw Rorschach down there a little while ago. We're hoping he comes back. If not, they're gonna send paramedics in about two hours. Hopefully he's still alive by then. And back to the fireplace channel. Joker! Who the hell are you? It's Batman! Except, right now I'm Bruce Wayne. Because you shot me and threw me out of a window and my costume's the dry clean. Good for you. I'm here to kick your butt. Get up. Your state of body? Yeah, get up. Uh, not right now. Hey, Joker! Oh, I see. You have a lady friend here. <laughs> oh my god! Who is that? I'm not a lady. I think I'm a pansexual. With who? Two-Face here. Two-Face? How did this happen? I feel so right now. I do feel great. I feel great too, baby dog. I feel so involuntarily socialized. I need some therapy. Joker, what is this? I just went to bed school for you. I do intercession and summer session every year so that I get up early and make extra babies with you. Well, you see, I've been confused all my life the whole time I've been with you. And when I finally met up with Two-Face again, I realize I'm a pansexual and I love Two-Face. Not you. I live for you! My life is over now! <laughs> Let's go, baby dog. Oh, okay. In the scenes of news, today we are interviewing Poison Ivy. How are you today? Wonderful. That's awesome. Now we just want to do a background on you. So, what did you do before your life of crime? I'm a botanist, actually. I have a PhD, and I've worked with a lot of scientists. Oh, that's that's quite interesting. Well, why did a smart person like you turn to be a supervillain? In an accident. Care to explain? We Maybe got I time. Am not allowed. <laughs> We're being cut off soon, anyways. So, why the heck? Go ahead. Well, an accident occurred at a laboratory, and I was involved, and however, the scientist who did cause the accident to occur was not 
held accountable and I ended up in the hospital almost dying. And that's how the vines have become attached to me. Hmm. Well, do you want to explain why you have this plant here with you today? Oh, this is my friend. He wanted to come along, so I brought him. Can you talk to plants? Of course. But that's an aloe vera plant. Mm-hmm. Okay. It was nice talking with you today, Poison Ivy. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. And that's the conclusion of this interview by Beep News. Welcome to another broadcast of Beep News. Today we're interviewing our formal, former lawyer, Catwoman. How are you today? I'm good, and you? Not bad, not bad. Um, so, uh, want to tell us what you did prior to your life of crime? Well, I went to Harvard Law, and I interned at the Senate, so it was pretty prestigious. But I was only paid 80 cents to the dollar compared to my male colleagues, so I figured, hey, what the heck, if I'm only making this much money doing something that I work so hard for, why not just steal stuff and make even more money? Yeah, but isn't that against the law? You were an expert in law, and you should know that. And that's why I'm so good at escaping the law. What, what made you like Cat so much, Catwoman? Well, I don't know. It's just they're so free, and they demand respect, and I demand respect, so, you know, it just happens. That's a very strong opinion. Yeah. Some could say it's feminism. A bit, maybe. I don't know. I can hardly call being a, vi a female villain being a feminist. I mean, cartoon characters such as myself are drawn so little boys can watch sexy women because they wouldn't get any any other way. And uh, it seems to me that um, super villainesses tend to be intelligent women. So I think it's like a government's way of, you know, letting us know that if you're intelligent and you're a woman, then you're evil. You know, you're not normal. So, um, up to any heists lately? I'm sorry? Heists? Have you gone and done anything? I'm going on one tonight, I do believe. I won't tell you where because I know you'll call the police, but yeah. Done quite a few. Batman's tried to, like, get me to stop, but he can't. I'm just too quick for him. Well, thank you very much. Sadly, our show's being shut down because you quit being our lawyer. And, well, our taxes are due, and we don't have the money, so we'll see you later, Catwoman. Yeah. And that's the conclusion of this interview by Boop News.